Meteorologist Colleen Campbell giving us an update on what we can expect. Thankfully, not what we were dealing with this time last year. Yeah, that's right, Sarah, but we still need to pay attention to the tropics and what's happening because things are a lot busier than what they were a few weeks ago, right? So here's your tropical out the update. We're looking at an outlook of the entire basin right now. A lot of action here. First of all, we have Invest 94L. We're going to see if we get some development from that as we approach this weekend. Umberto did develop into a tropical storm yesterday for anybody that missed that update. And we are expecting this to continue strengthening over the next 24 hours. And eventually this will turn into a major hurricane, Umberto. And then we have Gabrielle. Gabrielle is weakening on her way to Portugal at this time. Gabrielle was never a threat to us. And these systems really aren't either to Tampa Bay. However, we are keeping a close eye because what could happen here with these systems so close together? How will they interact with one another? That's something that we still have some wiggle room with and we're really going to be paying attention to with this forecast. <clears throat> Tropical storm Umberto again is showing signs of strengthening. Uh, so you see a lot of convection there closer to the center. Winds are still at 50 miles per hour as of the 11 a.m. update. The pressure didn't see major change in that, but the system is moving very slowly. It's moving northwest at eight miles per hour, so it has plenty of time to strengthen in that warm bath water. <clears throat> Excuse me. As we look at the track of Umberto, you can see in the next uh, 24 hours, we are expecting it to strengthen to a category one hurricane and then it's off to the races. It will start to develop into a major hurricane and we're looking at that timeline by the time the weekend is over, perhaps by Sunday. Now this would be our third hurricane of the season once it does reach a hurricane. And uh, if it does become a major hurricane, it would be our first three hurricanes that also become major hurricanes, something that hasn't happened since 1935. But again, it's all important to pay attention to the track because we also have Invest 94, and it's interesting to see how these two will interact with one another. A lot of you are gonna hear the word, the Fujiwara effect over the next couple of days. And that's basically when two tropical systems are so close to one another, it's rare, but they kind of dance around each other. And eventually one could be absorbed, the weaker one, which would be Invest 94, could be absorbed by the stronger one, which would be Umberto. But what also can happen is one can kind of, uh, kind of deflect off the track and get a little bit closer to the coast, which is what some of the models are picking up on. A lot of the spaghetti models are picking up on this kind of mirroring uh, the Carolinas in the next couple of days. Now, does this guarantee this is going to happen? No, the models are not sure what to do with two systems so close together. So this is one that we will have to carefully watch to see how they interact with one another. Here at home, we have a front that's dropping into our area that will work as a shield to block us in Tampa Bay. 